Welcome to the prayer altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We thank God for another glorious time of prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to look at the question, why should the witch or the wizard die? Hallelujah. This is our topic this morning, this evening, this midnight hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Why should the witch or the wizard die? die as we read in Exodus chapter 22 verse 18. Hallelujah. Before we go anywhere, let us dedicate our lives to the Lord. Let us prepare ourselves. Let us dedicate our minds, our hearts, our souls, our spirits, our bodies to the Lord. Let us prepare the atmosphere. Let us cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, my King and my Savior, we worship you. Jesus Christ, we worship you. Yes, my Father, my God, El Elyon, the Most High God, we worship you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We reverence you and we cherish and we pleasure you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you in the session. Spirit of the living God, our teacher, our mentor, we welcome you in the session. Spirit of burning, the spirit of refinement, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of Pentecost, the spirit of wisdom and of counsel, the spirit of knowledge, of revelation, of insight. You are welcome in our, in our session right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Holy Ghost, yes, you are welcome in, this, in that session, in the name of Jesus. Help us to pray as we go on right now. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, as we come into your presence, we repent from every sin and every transgression, willful sins, secret faults, things that we have done that offended you, O oh God. We pray that you forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wash us clean. Let the blood of Jesus speak for us. Let the blood of Jesus give us a right standing in the presence of the great Jehovah. Let the blood of Jesus give us a right standing before the mercy seat of the Lord. Let the blood of Jesus acquit us. Let the blood of Jesus remove every chaffer, every poison, any contaminations, any defilements of the spirit, any defilements of the soul, any defilements of the flesh. Let them be washed by the blood of Jesus, even as we come into the presence of the great Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my Savior, we thank you that you are available to us and you make yourself available. You make yourself reachable to us for us. Yes, thank you for the blood of Jesus that is making a way for us into your presence, that is opening the door into your presence before the mercy seat, and you talk to us, you commune with us from above the mercy seat between the two cherubims. Yes, Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we come right now, we are bringing our minds, our souls, our spirits, our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and unacceptable before you, which is our reasonable service to you. Accept our prayers this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for establishing us with your word. Thank you, Father, yes, for sending your word, Jesus Christ, the word. Yes, the word that you have sent like rain. Yes, the one that you send like the snow. Yes, the rain and the snow come upon the ground. Yes, and waters the ground and causes the, the grass to grow and gives the bread to the eater and the seed to the sower. Yes, so is your word coming to us. And we receive your word in the mighty name of Jesus. And we take authority over any power, any spirit that have stationed themselves somewhere to try and heed our prayer. We command you to be paralyzed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Any sorcerer, any agent of Satan, any magician, any Zanguama that has stationed themselves somewhere to heed our prayer, we command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any satanic power that is making incantations, that is making enchantments against our lives to try and hinder us from praying effectively, you are a liar. We command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, you have no power over our lives. 
In the name of Jesus, we decree total defeat upon your, your efforts. In the name of Jesus, we frustrate your efforts by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, any agent of Satan that has been planted in our midst to try and hinder us from praying effectively, you are a liar. We command you to be frustrated by the blood of Jesus. We frustrate your efforts with the blood of Jesus. We frustrate your efforts by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, any sorcerer that is projecting things into our us, yes, in, in our prayer altar, you are a liar. We command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cover our prayer altar with the blood of Jesus. We cover our community with the blood of Jesus. We cover the airwaves with the blood of Jesus. We cover environments with the blood of Jesus. Our houses are covered by the blood of Jesus. Our prayer rooms, our prayer closets, they are now covered by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we decree and we declare that our houses are now houses of prayer. In the name of Jesus, where God is worshipped in spirit and in truth. In the mighty name of Jesus. And therefore we bind every spirit up, yes, of religion. We reject religion by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, we reject the spirit of religion. Satanic powers up. That wants us to, 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 to memorize the word. Yes, and to sing songs. And yet we have a faulty armor. We command you to be bound and be scattered by fire. Spirits of self-delusions, spirits of deception, you lying wonder from the serpent. We command you to be scattered by fire. You spirits of divination, yes, that have been assigned against our lives. We command you to, to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for the bonfire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for your angels that are already here. Yes, on standby, ready to take action, even as we pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, our gadgets are covered with the blood of Jesus. Yes, our atmosphere is covered with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. We worship you. We praise you. We honor you. Let your name be glorified in our midst. In the name of Jesus, we say all the glory and the honor be unto him that sits upon the throne. Blessings and honor and power and glory be unto him that sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome once again to the prayer altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. And your coming cannot be taken for granted. And we thank God that he has brought you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are continuing, ladies and gentlemen. And this morning, this afternoon, this evening, at this midnight hour, we have a topic which says, why should the witch or the wizard die? We read that one in Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. And God said, let the earth... Put forth tender vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees yielding fruit, whose seed is in itself, each according to its kind, upon the earth. And it was so. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. Yes, verse, verse 12 says, The earth brought forth vegetation. Plants yielding seed according to their own kinds and trees bearing fruit in which was their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, it was suitable and admirable, and he approved it. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So why should a witch or a wizard die? And who is this witch and who is this wizard? Hallelujah. We know already from Revelations, yes, chapter 11, is it chapter, chapter, yes, chapter 12, verse, verse 9, I think, right? The old dragon, the serpent, Satan, hallelujah, the seducer, the deceiver of humanity, the world over, hallelujah. So we know from that reference 
that the serpent is the the dragon. He is actually he is the witch. <laughs> Hallelujah. And how do we qualify that one? If you go to Genesis chapter three, right? Verse one says, "Now the serpent was more subtle and crafty than any living creature of the field which the Lord God had made, and he Satan." So the serpent is Satan said to the woman, can it really be that God has said, you shall not eat from every tree of the garden? Hallelujah. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit from the trees of the garden. Right? We want to qualify who the witch, the wizard is. Hallelujah. If you jump down to verse 13, hallelujah, that was after the woman and her, her man, her husband, had eaten the fruit. And then verse 13 says, And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled, Hallelujah, beguiled me, cheated me, outwitted me, deceived me. Right from, Gen from, from Revelations, we hear that the devil, the old serpent, is the deceiver, the seducer, of all humanity the world over. Hallelujah. So now here the serpent and is, is referred to as Satan in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. In verse 13, and he says, the woman says, the serpent beguiled me. And now you know what the meaning of that word is, beguile. To beguile is to bewitch. Right, now we are going to move on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To beguile is to bewitch. To beguile is to outwit. To beguile is to deceive. Hallelujah. So who is the deceiver of all humanity? It is the, the devil. And who is the devil? It is the serpent. And who is the serpent? He is the witch who is doing beguilements. Hallelujah. And uh, he, uh, that beguilement is also, it means to fascinate Hallelujah. And the dictionary, not going far, if you go to the dictionary and find the meaning of fascinated, you find that it refers to a serpent. And it says that the serpent uses fascination. It fascinates its prey. The serpent fascinates its prey. Hallelujah. Especially of a serpent. And what is to fascinate? To fascinate is to deprive the prey of its ability to resist or to escape by the power of the gaze. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have looked at this one already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't do any harm to visit it again. I like it so much because the serpent is exposed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That all the problems that we are facing uh, is either we have been fascinated or we've been uh, tricked or outwitted by something. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got so much to say. Let's try and squeeze it. Uh, let's move on in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see in Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, God uh, saying, Let the earth put forth tender vegetation. Plants are yielding seed. And you go on. If you go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, then it says, Then the Lord God formed men from the dust of the ground and breathed unto his nostrils the breath or the spirit of life. And man became a living being or a living soul. Hallelujah. Some other translation says that, Another speaking spirit. Yes, as you read in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, he says, God said, let us father, son, and the Holy Spirit make many kind in our image, after our likeness. Let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame beasts, and over all the earth, over all the earth. You see that? Right? Man is being blessed by God. 
Man is being given a mandate. Man is being given authority say, to help complete authority over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the beasts, over all the earth, and over everything that creeps upon the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see here in verse 27, God created men in his image. And in the image and likeness of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth. Fill the earth. Hallelujah. I'm coming to, I'm emphasizing the word earth right there. Right? Take note of that word in the name of Jesus. Fill the earth. Hallelujah. And subdue it. Using all its vast resources in the service of God and of men. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves upon the earth. Upon the earth. Just take note of that word in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So why should a witch or a wizard die? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we read in Genesis chapter 3, we saw that the serpent came. The serpent used to see Adam and Eve having a great time in the presence of God. The serpent used to, to wish that it could also interact with humanity, with Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. That's it. That's coming from my own head. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he saw it from afar. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then he planned and said that. Right now. Yes, sir. So he came to the woman. And he said, did God say yeah, you should not eat any, any of the fruit from every tree in the garden now? Hallelujah. And the woman said, yeah, we may eat the fruit from the trees of the garden now, except the fruit from the tree which is in the middle of the garden. God said, yeah, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. The serpent had hedged a plan. The serpent had hedged a plan to interact. Hallelujah. God had already put a law in place that anyone who is going to be yes, effective or who is going to be significant and call the shots here on earth should have flesh, flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Should be born, should be born of a woman, should be having the flesh. And how was uh, the flesh made from the ground? From the ground. You would wonder now why, why did God make Adam from the ground? Why did God make, why did he, yes, mold Adam? from the ground, from the dust of the earth. Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, what now I know uh, is that uh, Adam was given authority over the earth. He was given dominion, complete authority to take care of business here on earth. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be in charge of everything. As we see also him naming every animal, as God was releasing, as, 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 as he was releasing on his conveyor belt of crea creation, yes, sir, creating the animals, creating everything, Adam was standing there with the supernatural wisdom of God, with the abilities of God. Adam, who was formed from the dust of the earth, he had some supernatural power in him. And you could name them one by one. You are lion. You are hyena. You are fox. You are crocodile. You are hippo. You are elephant. You are gecko. You are lizard. You are this. You are that. Adam, yes, was naming them with the supernatural ability that God had put in him. Hallelujah. The blessing, the empowerment to prosper. Hallelujah. Put in Adam. Adam who is made of earth, of soil. 
of the ground of dust. Hallelujah. Where am I going? Yes, sir. In a minute, you understand it in Jesus' mighty name. So how did Noah, how did it go with the serpent and the woman? Hallelujah. So the serpent told the lady that you are not going to die. What was the trick? He wanted the ability to interact. The devil also wanted that to be given the authorization by a man with flesh and blood to do his things here on earth as well. Hallelujah. To talk to men. To dis disconnect humanity from God. Hallelujah. That he may also get the attention. Hallelujah. And get the worship from humanity. So he came with a trick. And what was the trick? That was to bewitch humanity. Hallelujah. And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me. The serpent outwitted me. The serpent cheated me. The serpent deceived me. What is to beguile? To beguile is to fascinate. It is to bewitch. To beguile is to fascinate, especially, yes, sir, of a serpent. To fascinate, actually. To fascinate is used by a snake to fascinate its prey. So now Genesis chapter 3 is telling us that he, Satan, came and talked to the woman. He, Satan, the serpent, Hallelujah. Coming with its power to beguile, power to bewitch, power to fascinate. Hallelujah. He came to take the glory, to take up yes, the authority and the dominion over this earth. Whilst the woman did not suspect anything. Hallelujah. Maybe the woman and the serpent used to have some conversations before. I don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. But this particular day, the serpent came and he tricked the woman. He bewitched the woman. He beguiled the woman. He fascinated the woman. Hallelujah. And what is to fascinate her? To fascinate her is to, to, to get to deprive. It is to deprive her of the prayer, of its power to resist the temptation or even the power to run away, to escape by the power of the gaze. And what was the gaze? <laughs> Jesus Christ, say thank you, Lord Jesus. What was the gaze? If you go in verse, verse 6 of Genesis chapter 3, when the woman saw that the tree was good, the woman saw with her eyes, the woman gazed. Hallelujah. Gazed at the fruit. And when the woman looked and saw the tree, that what it was good, suitable, pleasant for food, and that it was delightful to look at, and a tree to be desired in order to make one wise. Hallelujah. She took of its fruit and ate. And she gave some also to her husband. And he ate. Hallelujah. So the woman was fascinated. And what is to fascinate? <laughs> to fascinate her is to deprive of the prey of its power to resist. From that moment onwards, the woman could not resist the temptation. She could not even, I don't know whether she could remember what, that God Almighty had said, don't eat. But from that moment onwards, she could not resist the fascination of the serpent. And that is witchcraft. And the Bible says now in Exodus chapter 22, verse 18, suffer not a witch to live. Now the serpent is coming. Who is the witch? In the mother and the father of witchcraft, the serpent, the devil, he is coming to bewitch people. All his activities is witchcraft. All the problems that we are seeing is witchcraft. The people who are worshipping the devil, they've been deceived big time. They've been told so many lies and deceived and seduced by the devil. Hallelujah. And they are ending up worshipping the devil. They are ending up worshipping an idol. That were ending up, uh, yes, uh, doing sacrifices of, of, of human beings uh, on evil altars uh, because they've been, uh, 
yes, deceived big time. They've been seduced. They've been beguiled. They've been fascinated. They went and they crossed a certain line. And then the witchcraft and the spell, it got stuck on them. And they could not resist the temptation of the serpent anymore. They couldn't, they couldn't resist the temptation of the witch anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deception and seduction. Suffer not a witch to live. Hallelujah. So what does the witch do? Let's try and squeeze some scriptures right here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But we, we need to remember something about the earth. The dust of the ground. That Adam was formed from the ground. And when God breathed this breath of life into Adam, he became a living being, another speaking spirit. So there was power now that was in Adam. Yes, though he was dust, but he was, yes, he was loaded with the power of God. Creative power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there, there is an inherent power in the earth of God. Hallelujah. That the earthen vessel, who is Adam, is loaded with power to say some things, to create or to destroy. Hallelujah. With his tongue. Hallelujah. Like God. Hallelujah. Let's move on in Jesus' mighty name. I want to throw some scripture. I want to throw some scripture so that we, we can make this complete in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is an inherent power in the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is the power to give life or to, to destroy life, to bury life. The ground, the earth has got the power to produce, yes, food, to produce life. It has the power also to bury Hallelujah. It is loaded. But humanity, you and me, we have been made from the dust. Say thank you, Jesus. But we have the spirit of God within us. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the dust of the ground has got the power to resurrect or the power to, cor to corrupt. The dust has ears to hear instructions. The earth has got ears to hear instructions. Hallelujah. We hear God saying, instructing the earth and saying, let the earth produce green vegetation. And it produced. And it was good. Say thank you, Jesus. I don't have time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we see that there are some witches and some wizards who have mastered the power of the earth. They master the power of the earth to instruct the earth what to do. Right. Be, we'll qualify that one in one second. In the mighty name of Jesus. If we go to Psalms 91, verse 5 says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by noonday. So there are some witches and wizards who go in their shrine, they pick the dust of the earth, and then they speak to the earth, to the dust, they blow it into the air, mentioning someone's name, and someone's destiny is rubbish. Someone's marriage is rubbish. You know it. Hallelujah. They do it. The witches go to where you have foot, left your, your footprint, and they grab the dust, the soil from there, and they go into their shrine, and they do some things, and then they incapacitate someone's, someone's life. Someone is no longer the same. They've been bewitched using the dust. Hallelujah. They take the dust, they blow it into the air, and they say as long as where he is, or where she is, if there is dust there, he is not going to amount to anything. Right? They are using the power of the earth. They are using the power of the dust to do evil. Why? Because when Adam and Eve were beguiled, 
by the serpent. They now allowed evil spirits yes, to now interact with a human being. They are now using the human body, the flesh and bone, to do evil. Do you allow the devil to do evil through them? It is the mouth of the sangwama that speaks. It is the mouth of the magician that is speaking, making incantations. It is the mouth of the sorcerer that is making incantations and enchantments. Hallelujah. Evil decrees and declaring. Hallelujah. And taking the dust and speaking to it. Hallelujah. The witch should not live because they've got the power. Yes, to use the dust of the earth to do harm upon a Christian. To do harm and evil in someone's marriage, in someone's children, to rub in someone's destiny. The witch or the wizard should not live, should not be allowed to live because they've got the power to interact with evil spirits in high places. Satanic powers, despotisms, evil powers, powers of wickedness in the heavenly sphere and they assign them to go and attack someone. The witch, the wizard should not be allowed to live because they can convert themselves. They can transform themselves into a dog or a cat, into an owl, into some other animal, and they can go and spy and monitor someone's life. Hallelujah. They can convert themselves into a bed. And if you think it's a bed, it's just a bed, yet it's a sorcerer who is seated on the twig of the tree and is listening and getting in, spying and monitoring someone's life for evil. Hallelujah. Suffer not a witch to live. In the mighty name of Jesus. Allow me two minutes, if, if you can, please. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If we go to Exodus chapter 9, verse 8 says, The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take handfuls of ashes and sutra from the brickling and let Moses sprinkle them towards the heavens in the sight of Pharaoh. And it was, and it shall come, it shall become small dust over the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. It shall become small dust over the land of Egypt and become boils breaking out, breaking out in sores on men and beasts in all the land occupied by the Egyptians. So they took ashes and soot for the kiln, of the kiln, and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses threw them towards the sky, and it became boils erupting in sores on men and beasts. You see that one? Moses is using the dust, he's using up. Yes, the soot, the ashes, hallelujah, and it, it affected the Egyptians. Go to Exodus chapter 8, verse 16 to 17. And the Lord said to Moses, say unto Aaron, stretch out your rod and smite the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout the land of Egypt. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth, and it became lice in men, in beasts. All the dust of the land became lice throughout the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now the sorcerer is using the same principle. The devil is copying, he's a copycat, but he is devastating the children of God. Now we are going to pray. I, I didn't treat it nicely as, as, you know, we are restricted with time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we want to pray right now. The bottom line or the point to pick is that the earth can be programmed. The dust can be programmed to do evil. But we can program it also to do good. In the mighty name of Jesus, we use our mouths to speak to the elements, we speak to the to the wind. We speak to the element. Yes, we speak to the ground. In the name of Jesus, we command any dust, demonic dust that has been blown against someone, that someone starts to have some some like they've got sand in their eyes. 
because they, some dust, some evil dust was blown against them. And in no time, someone is blind from nowhere because some evil dust was blown against them. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer after me, if you can, please. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. I know I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself, but you died for me on the cross. And I'm asking you to come into my heart and make me a child of God. Forgive me of every sin in my life, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart and make me a child of God. And wash me clean with your blood. And you, Satan, with all your deceptions, with all your fascinations, with all your beguilements, with all your seductions, I command you to be bound up and be scattered up by the blood of Jesus by the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no hold over my life. I resist you now by the power in the name of Jesus. So leave me alone in the mighty name of Jesus. I belong to Jesus Christ now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, my Father and my God, I thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending your son to die for me on the cross. And I thank you for eternal life. And I commit myself to living a holy life, a righteous life, a God-fearing life, all the days of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Say, my Father and my God, my Lord Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost to pray with power be activated upon my life now. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost be activated upon my life, that I may pray with power and with fire in the name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost to pray with power be activated upon my life now. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, pray with all your heart in the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, let the anointing to pray with power and with fire be activated in my spirit, in my soul, in my body, in the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, let the anointing to pray with power and with fire has be activated upon my life now. In the name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, infuse yourself up. Diffuse yourself up into my spirit, up, into my soul, up, into my body, that I may pray with power in the mighty name of Jesus. Up. Say, Holy Ghost, up, help me to pray a fire prayer that will change my situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Up. Say, Holy Ghost, up, help me to pray a fire prayer, a zealous prayer, a passionate prayer, a burning prayer that is going to change my situation right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any satanic power that is using the dust of the ground to affect my life, to attack my life, I command you to be destroyed by the name of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you witch, you wizard that is using the dust of the ground to attack my life. I command you to be arrested by the blood of Jesus. I command you to be arrested by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you witchcraft power, you witch, you wizard, you sangoma, you native doctor, you sorcerer, you magician. That is using uh, the dust of the earth, uh, the dust of the ground uh, to attack my life. Uh, I command you uh, to be paralyzed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you witch, uh, you wizard, uh, I command you uh, to die by fire. You witch, you wizard, uh, that is attacking my life uh, using the ground, uh, using the dust of the ground. Uh, I command you to die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Say, you witch, you wizard, that is using the dust of the ground to attack my health. I command you to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. You witch, you wizard, that is using the dust of the ground to speak disaster into my life. 
I command you to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you witch, you wizard. Yes, sir. I command you to repent or else you die in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you witch, you wizard. Yes, I command you to repent or else you die in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you witch, you wizard. I command you to repent or else you die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you sorcerer that is targeting my life, targeting my health. I command you to repent or else you die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you witch, you wizard that is targeting my health, that is trying Yes, to destroy me uh, through a sickness uh, or a disease. Uh, you are a liar. I command you uh, to die by fire. I command you uh, to die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say you witch, uh, you wizard. Uh, that is trying to say uh, that you are untouchable. You are a liar. I command you uh, to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, say you agent of Satan. Uh, that is being used uh, yes, to attack my life. Uh, Using the dust of the ground, I command you to repent or else you die by fire. I command you to repent or else you die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you agent of Satan that is targeting my life, that is speaking into the dust of the earth and attacking my finances. I command you to die by fire. I command you to die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you witchcraft power, you sorcerer, you sangwam, you native doctor, yes, you blind witch that is being used, yes, to attack my life, yes, I command you to die by fire, I command you to perish by fire, I command you to perish by the fire thunder of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, say I release fire, I release brimstone, Upon the chamber of the witch and the wizard, I release fire, I release brimstone upon the shrine of the sangoma who is using the dust of the earth to attack my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I release fire and brimstone upon the coffin of the witch and the wizard who are attacking my marriage using the dust of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I release fire and brimstone up upon the camber, upon the coffin of the witch and the wizard who are attacking my marriage using the dust of the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, I release fire, I release thunder, I release brimstone upon any witch, any wizard who is blowing up. Yes, the dust to attack my life, to attack my health, to attack my mind, to attack my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, say, release Yes, some fire and brimstone upon any witchcraft agenda, upon any witch, any wizard that is blowing up the dust of the earth to attack my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, say you witchcraft power that is using up the dust of the earth, that is using up the dust of the ground to attack my eyes, to attack my sight, to attack my understanding, to attack my destiny. You are a liar. I command you to be scattered into pieces by fire. I command you to be scattered into pieces by fire. I command you to be scattered into pieces by fire. I command you to be scattered into pieces by fire. In the name of Jesus, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you witcher, you wizard. That is using the dust of the ground. Yes, to attack my progress in life. To attack her. Yes, my destiny. You are a liar. I command you to be scattered into pieces. I command you to be scattered into pieces now by fire. I command you to be scattered into pieces now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. You witchcraft power. That is standing up in an evil place. That is standing up before an evil altar and blowing up dust to attack my life, to attack my finances, to attack my business, to attack my children. You are a liar. I command you to go down to hell by fire. I command you to go down to hell by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say you personality, you evil personality. 
that is boasting with witchcraft against my life. You are a liar. I command you to be disgraced by the fire tide of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you witchcraft power. That is boasting. Yes, with muti. That is boasting with some dust from the ground. That is boasting that you can blow up some evil dust against me. Your time is up. I command you to go down to hell by fire. I command you to go down to hell by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, I pronounce death upon whosoever, whatsoever, any witch, any wizard that is blowing an evil wind against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, I blow, I say, I pronounce death. I pronounce death upon the witch, the wizard that is blowing an evil wind against me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've, 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 I've uh, yeah, experienced it a uh, few times. That from nowhere, I feel the wind blowing towards me. The window will be closed. My, especially in my bedroom. I feel, uh, sometimes uh, I feel the wind, a wind blowing, blowing towards me. And I ex then I realize this is, this is strange. Then straight away, I start to speak in tongues. Straight away, I start to speak in tongues and speak the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Straight away. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, the other time, I was blown by the fan. Hallelujah. Fan. Fan was used to blow some wind towards me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And straight away I started to feel unwell. And I knew that it was a witchcraft wind. That some power had blown some wind. What about cobwebs? You are in your house and you walk like you are walking into a cobweb. Hallelujah. Those are all the workings of the witch and the wizard. Suffer not a witch to a believer. Why should a witch or a wizard die? Because they are using the elements. They've got the power to attack a Christian in an invisible way. And it manifests in the physical. Hallelujah. Say any satanic power doing any trick, any witchcraft trick against me. You are a liar. I command you to die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say you witchcraft power doing a witchcraft trick against me. I command you to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. You witchcraft power that is doing a witchcraft trick against me. I command you to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say you satanic power that is doing a witchcraft trick against my health, a witchcraft trick against my finances, a witchcraft trick against my marriage. I command you to die by fire in the name of Jesus. Say you witchcraft power. Yes, that is doing a witchcraft, blowing evil dust. Yes, against my children. I command you to be destroyed by fire. I command you to be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say you witchcraft power, you agent of Satan. That is using uh, dust of the ground uh, to attack my family. I command you uh, to perish by fire. I command you uh, to perish by fire. I command you uh, to perish by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say you satanic power, you witch, uh, you wizard uh, that is blowing uh, evil dust uh, from the ground uh, against my life. Uh, I command you uh, to be destroyed uh, by your dust. Uh, be destroyed uh, by your dust uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, say you witchcraft power that is blowing uh, evil dust uh, against me. Uh, I command you uh, to be destroyed uh, by your own device uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you witchcraft power that is using uh, the device uh, of evil dust uh, Yes, from the ground uh, to attack my life. Uh, I command you uh, to be destroyed uh, by your own device. Uh, be destroyed uh, by your own device. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say every evil tongue uh, that is speaking up uh, evil things uh, into the dust uh, to attack my life. Uh, I command you uh, to be silenced uh, by fire. Be silenced uh, by fire. Be silenced uh, by fire. 
Be silenced now by fire. Be silenced now by fire. Be silenced now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every shrine of the Sangwama that is busy, yes, releasing evil dust against my life, that is busy releasing the dust of the ground to attack my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, you shrine of the Sangwama, you evil altar that is busy releasing the dust of the ground to attack my family, to attack my finances, to attack my career, to attack my business, to attack my husband, to attack my wife, to attack my children. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father. Hallelujah. Let the magnetic force of demonic wind, yes, sir, against me, yes, let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, let the magnetic force of demonic wind that is generating demonic dust and demonic sand tracking down my glory, let it fail and break fire. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, every demonic wind that has been released against me to track me down, to destroy my glory, to destroy my star, to destroy my life, to destroy my destiny. Let it, let it backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say satanic arrow that has been released from an evil altar to attack me through evil dust, through the dust of the earth. I command you to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say every local demon that is pouring strange sand into onto my doorstep that is pouring strange step in, in sand on my doorstep in order to bewitch me in order to bewitch my legs you are a liar i command you to catch fire and burn your scissor in the mighty name of jesus say strange sand that was poured on my doorstep to a stranger yes a dust that was put up upon my doorstep by the witch, by the wizard, I paralyze your power through the blood of Jesus. I paralyze your power by the blood of Jesus. Say every evil dust that was blown into my eyes to cause me to be blind. I command you to go back and destroy your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil dust that was blown against my eyes to cause me to be blind. I command you to go and blind your honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, go and blind your honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every evil dust that was blown against my children to confuse them. I command you to beg fire. Every evil dust that was blown from the ground in order to confuse my children, in order to confuse the destinies of my children, I command you to beg fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say every evil wind that was blown into the air to attack my marriage, I command you to beg fire. I command you to beg fire. I command you to beg fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say household wickedness. Hiring a sangoma, hiring a native doctor, hiring a sorcerer, hiring a magician in order to blow up evil dust, evil wind against me. I command you to repent or else you perish in your wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you household wickedness, you household enemies that have hired a sangoma, a sorcerer, a native doctor, a, a, a witch doctor, in order to blow up evil dust against me, against my family, against my finances, against my business, I command you to repent or else you die by fire. Repent or else you die by fire. Repent or else you die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say I release the dust of blindness into the eyes of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is the time? Hallelujah. We run out of time. Say I blow 
the dust of blindness into the eyes of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, say I blow up the dust of blindness into every evil monitoring spirit, every monitoring power that is monitoring my life for evil. I command you to be blinded by the dust coming from God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Say, I decree in my heart. I confess with my mouth divine favor upon me, divine progress in my life, divine blessings in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree in my heart. I confess with my mouth that I'm the head, I'm not the tail. I'm on top, I'm not below. I'm above, I'm not beneath. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth, I receive divine progress, I receive divine glory, I receive divine shining, I receive divine wealth, I receive divine abundance, I receive divine power, I receive divine courage, I receive divine wisdom, I receive divine healing, I receive divine restoration, in the mighty name of Jesus, Say, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, abundantly rich. I am successful, abundantly successful. I am prosperous, abundantly prosperous. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say, I cover myself up with the blood of Jesus. I cover my eyes up with the blood of Jesus. I cover my head up with the blood of Jesus. I cover my chest with the blood of Jesus. I cover my stomach with the blood of Jesus. I cover every part of my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover every organ of my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover every organ of my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover every organ of my body with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say witchcraft chains that were being used by the sorcerer against my life. You are broken into pieces. Witchcraft chains that were being used to blow evil dust against me. You are scattered into pieces by the blood of Jesus. Say evil parental covenants that were being used to blow evil dust against me. You are nullified. You are overruled forever by the blood of Jesus. Say every evil words that were released, evil words that were used to program evil dust to attack my life, to attack my health, to attack my marriage, to attack my finances, to attack my progress in life, to attack my business, to attack my children. You are canceled now by the blood of Jesus. Evil words that were programmed into the dust of the earth to attack my life. You are canceled by the blood of Jesus. You are nullified by the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say enchantments, divinations, beguilements, yes, any bewitchments, yes, against my life. You are destroyed forever by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say my divine victory, manifest now. My divine power, manifest now. My divine glory, manifest now. My divine shining, manifest now. My divine healing, manifest now. My divine health, manifest now. My divine restoration, manifest now. My divine abundance, manifest now. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you for your people. Cover them with your hand, Lord. Let your face shine upon their lives. Bless their water. Bless their bread. As they come in, as they go out. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Let us do the grace, ladies and gentlemen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God the Father. The sweet fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Be with us now and forever. Surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life, and I'm dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to pray. And we'll see each other tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Sweet dreams to everyone. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.